tonight on a special edition of Evening. It's our staff picks from world famous popcorn that costs a quarter. Mm, that's right. Good. To a vintage store that you can get lost in. Truly just like anything that you could ever want. Plus our favorite treats, secret spots, and outdoor adventures across Western Washington. Welcome to a special edition of Evening from our home offices in Seattle. And tonight, it's like an entire episode of raves after raves after raves. Yes, this is our entire staff. And we decided to ask every single person to come up with one of their favorite things. It could be a place to shop or a special treat. Let's start out with our friend Jose Cedeno and the guys who keep him looking fresh. <laughs> a barbershop that feels so exclusive. It's almost like you have to know somebody that knows somebody to even make it here. It's a very secluded place. It's like a VIP experience. I want them to feel like a celebrity. Oh, I'll make them look awesome. A perfect fade, a lot of it has to do with the machine. It's definitely more than a haircut. It's a, you know, an experience. Mikey here, he's just a funny guy to talk to. <laughs> yeah. I feel very welcomed. I like the vibe of it. There's a nice view. But it's not all about just the good vibes, because this is the place to visit when you're looking for a fresh haircut. I just love how I put a smile on people's faces. That's how we do it. Experts of the art of fades. Which reminds me, it's time to introduce my favorite barber. Same one that has a familiar name. Alrighty. Wow, it's bigger than what I remember. Yeah. Are you ready to cut some white hairs? So what I'm gonna give him is a high fade with no C cups. Pretty simple haircut. One day I was looking for a new barber. I just saw that there was a guy that his name was Jose and I'm like, I like that name. But me and him really have talked a lot. It means a lot to me. He, he's a pretty funny guy, you know, definitely a character. A know? character. <laughs> a character. <laughs> Since the very first haircut, I told him my story, how I became a barber. One of the reasons I did become a barber was it gives me a lot of freedom. I like to meet new people. He just took the longest time to cut my hair because he really wanted to make it right. That was it. Pretty good. Yeah. Thank you, Jose. You're welcome, Jose. <laughs> <laughs> now you know my secret of looking clean. So you're welcome. Fresh cuts. <laughs> Fresh cuts. <laughs> Looking good, Jose. You can find Clip Dacio's private barber studio in Soto down near the uh, Old Rainier Brewery. Okay. Mm. This was really hard for me, honestly, because I, I have lots of things that are my picks, but I'm going to go with a place where you can get something indulgent when you are north of Seattle. I discovered Zuri's Donuts during the pandemic, and I have been a fan ever since, mainly because the owner, Davis Vincent, is constantly changing his menu and experimenting with new flavors. So I was just there a few weeks ago. Mm, so I tried bad. a new creation called Like Butter Baby. Ooh. It had butter icing, crisp bacon, and edible glitter, oh and God. it was worth every calorie. So if you are in Linwood, I highly recommend visiting Zuri's. All right, this next pick comes from somebody who works at a computer all day, but when he's off the clock, he prefers to go back in time. My name is Spencer Brown, and I am the digital producer of Evening. This is my staff pick, um, Lander Street Vintage. It is a giant vintage warehouse located in Soto. Over 32,000 square foot. 120 vendors. Every space holds a different collection. So every space you see it as a person, you know, and it's their collection and is what they bring to their store, which is their style. Yeah, they have like a ton of mirrors, a ton of art, lots of different frames and furniture. They have clothes everywhere also. I'm always looking for jackets. It's a super tiny little painting. This giant light bulb. You can't really like search for one thing because you won't find it. You really need to just be open to whatever you find. Taxidermy antelope. The prices here are great, especially for a vintage market. It's really cool, I love, a, I love a good tote bag. We really love what we do. We curate all of these collections for you guys just to come to enjoy, so having your pick, it makes us really happy. Truly just like anything that you could ever want.
Lander Street Vintage is located in Seattle's Soto neighborhood, and yes, it's on Lander Street. <laughs> okay, we've been in Soto a couple of times, but now we're going to head to Port Angeles because that is where producer Ann Erickson loves a treat that only costs a quarter. In Port Angeles, they say Swain's has everything, but this is the most famous thing this general store sells. People love it, so it's always fun to make them happy. I mean, where else are you gonna find something this delicious for 25 cents? Sean Price has been here for 31 years. I've made many thousands of bags of popcorn. No one remembers when Swain's, which opened in 1957, started selling popcorn. But it's a time-honored 25 cent tradition in this town. Do you want a popcorn? It's very popular. Here you go, you're welcome. Yeah, we have a lot of people that are just obsessed with the popcorn. You know, it's just a little thing, but it means a lot to people. I had a lady who came in and bought popcorn. She was taking it to her daughter in Hawaii. She said, I can't, if I, if I don't get, bring her Swain's popcorn, she's probably gonna make me stay on the plane. <laughs> the secret to selling 200 bags a day might be in the special kernels they use. It's called magic mushroom popcorn because it, it pops up really big like a mushroom. But our Olympic Peninsula producer, Anne, thinks it's something simpler. Swain's popcorn may be world famous, but it tastes just like home. Mm, that's right. Good. I told you. I mean, just like the shirt says, it's, it's world famous. At least we like to think so, right? So come in, get a bag or 10, and we'll have it hot and ready for you. Oh my gosh, I love that. And Anne says that after COVID, when Swain's was able to start popping again, that the entire town came out and the yeah. line was out the door. It was really popping. It was really, wow. Uh-huh. Our next step. <laughs> that was our, corny. Our next <laughs> No, our next staff pick involves an intricate martial art that is there to improve both body and mind. My name is Jay. I'm the director of local programming. Come on top. Yep, yep, yep. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is my staff pick because this is the one place where you can go after a stressful day and you can forget about everything else that's going on and fully immerse yourself into this art. It's amazing. Yep, perfect. I want to go one. Two, here I can let go, and I get a knee in the middle. Look higher at the ceiling. I've been doing Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for 18 years. It's like chess, it's, you know, you, you have to outthink your opponent. Sink your hips in, sink your hips a little. Good, better. It's as close to fighting as you can get without really, you know, beating each other up. This is my workout, this is my mental relief. This is my sort of way to challenge my brain. It's just everything in one. Arch your back, pull up, yeah. All right, let's do it. One, two, three. And that, friends, is why you do not mess with our boss. That's right. <laughs> Very true. Jay teaches one night a week at Framework Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu on Elliott Avenue in Interbay. Did I get it right? You got it right. Perfect. And if you have any questions about that or anything that you've seen so far in our show or later in our show, go to king5evening.com. Coming up, how to treat your four-legged friends to the best day ever. Plus, a one-of-a-kind Olympic Peninsula farm stand that's worth the drive when evening staff pick special returns. Hi, evening viewers. My name is Kevin Ely. I'm a photojournalist, and my staff pick is Daybreak Records. One of the first things you'll notice when you come into this Fremont shop is you'll see records from every genre. You'll see soul and hip hop and blues. I could spend the whole day here. Oh, I think I have. Welcome back to our home away from home. These are the evening offices, our headquarters. Yep, we have an amazing staff that are putting our shows together, putting our stories together, and tonight we're finding out what they like to do when they're not at work. Yeah, now here's the staff pick from our executive producer, Megan. Wave from over on the other side of the office. <laughs> Can you see her or is Saint's big head blocking her? She's over there somewhere. Somewhere over there. Uh, this is what she likes to do with her best four-legged friend. This way. Yo, shosh. Good job. This is the love of my life. Don't tell my husband. Good boy. This is my dog, Yoshi. Don't touch the camera. 
get your wet nose on it. My favorite pick is spending the day with him. So that's going to his favorite places. Yeah. Today we're at Lincoln Park in West Seattle. It's a great location for dogs, for families. You have nature trails. Yoshi, look. And then you have the beach just steps away. And it's right by the Vashon Ferry dock. And so you can walk up and down the beach. Yoshi, come on. You can come up here, get lots of surrounded by trees. It really feels like an escape from the city. It's great for dogs. Yoshi meets so many other dogs when he's walking around and he's never met a dog he doesn't like. So it's a great place because you're going to see a ton of them here. It kind of just decompresses you. You're out in nature. You don't have to think about anything else but being one with nature and your dog. It's great. <gasps> you know where we are, don't you? Come on, Yosh. Yoshi, look at all these treats. As you can see, there's a ton, don't steal. <laughs> there's a ton of treats. They have cookies that are fresh baked. There's lots of toys. And then there's the regular food, toys, treats, anything that you need for the dog, it's here. Can I get some treats today? Yeah. And it's supporting a local business, so it's great. Hey, thank you. You ready to go, Yosh? Bye. 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 Have a good one. Oh, Yoshi, Yoshi doggy, no, 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 Yoshi doggy. No, 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 no. <laughs> All right, our next staff pick takes us to Maple Valley for a family-friendly outing. The man behind the scenes who edits our stories came out from his booth to share a staff pick with us. We're gonna get some donuts. I'm Jared, an editor for Evening. We are at the Maple Valley Farmer's Market, one of my family's favorite spots to go to. You wanna try a bite? He's visiting with his wife, Megan, and daughter, Mara. Oh, is that a big, big rock? You like the big, big rocks? Each member of the family has something they love about the market. Oh, hang on, she dropped a rock. There's a wide variety of vendors. We love the shade that you get here. Uh, sit back in the trees. You have everything from fresh produce to yummy snacks and donuts, and there's clothes. It's a little pinafore top. So it's always fun to walk around and find new treasures. This is super cute. We're gonna do one of each, and then an extra of uh, the apple pie. One of the newer vendors we like is Good Lazy Donuts. They offer all kinds of fun flavors. You have to get there early, because they will sell out. Take a big bite. Take a big bite. Is that Mara hat? Yeah. yeah. We really love stopping by uh, York Patty Homemade. It's the most one-of-a-kind, well-made, unique clothing that you can find. By now, you've probably figured out Mara's favorite find here. Mara loves the rocks. Mara loves the rocks. Can you show a rock? Maple Valley Farmer's Market is our staff pick for beautiful flowers, delicious food, and cute handmade clothes. Plus, it's got great rocks. It's beautiful. Good job. <laughs> bye. Bye. Do you say bye-bye? I mean, from Yoshi to Mara, my cup overflows. Yeah, too much cuteness. <laughs> and if you want to go to the Maple Valley Farmer's Market, it runs from May to October. I heard they have really good rocks there. <laughs> Excellent rocks. There is no bad time of the year for lemonade. I'm going to put that out there. And okay. I found an especially sweet choice. It takes strawberries, two scoops of them, some lemonade made with freshly squeezed lemons, and a very generous topping of whipped cream to make the strawberry lemonade that comes in a mason jar at Southern Kitchen in Tacoma. It's like Mardi Gras for your mouth. So good. Gloria Martin says she came up with the idea of adding whipped cream to lemonade in 1995. And then within a year or so, I started getting phone calls from people from all over the country. I mean, just randomly. It was always a restaurant. The restaurants would always ask me, how you make it? I'll tell them, fruit, water, sugar, lemons, you know. And a lot of whipped cream. You can never have too much whipped cream? Very true, my friend. Uh, you know, there are some places that you can't drive by without absolutely needing to stop in. Take, for example, 
a building on the Olympic Peninsula with a giant chicken painted on the side of it. That's photographer Diane's staff pick. If you tell someone you live in Chimicum, you prepare for the follow-up question. They're like, where's that? And you're like, oh, it's by Port Townsend, and then they might know. But this tiny town has a very tasty claim to fame. Chimicum, it's about food, good food. The Chimicum Corner Farm Stand has been a must stop along Highway 19 for more than a decade. It's a great spot in the neighborhood. I look at the store as a living organism. Artist Katie McCoy owns the place along with her husband, Philip Vogelzang, a Seattle radiologist. It's the coolest place on earth. The store is a showcase of vibrant local produce. So all grown here in Chimicum. The business has grown organically as well, from a meat department featuring some unusual local game. Oh, 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 no longer. Sorry, we're out of yak. To a nursery filled with plants from nearby farms. Japanese indigo. And a bountiful bakery. Here's this killer shortbread of ours. Boasting the Olympic Peninsula's best cruffin. Cruffin, which is a combination of a croissant and a muffin. So the next time you're headed north to Port Townsend, look for the produce paradise just beneath the vintage windmill. It is the best store in the area. Okay, Diane's favorite thing to get at the farm stand is... Rosemary shortbread cookies. These blow the doors off every cookie I have ever had. Oh my gosh, they are so good. The Chimicum Corner Farm Stand is open daily. Up next, visit what might be the quietest one square inch in America. Welcome back to Evening Staff Picks. This is Chief Photographer Mark Marash, and he loves taking his bike out for a spin on a nice day. Here he is going along the Sammamish River Trail that runs between Bothell and Redmond. All right, Jim, you're up. Okay, my pick is deep in the wilderness of the Olympic Peninsula, the perfect place to get a little peace and quiet. And you know, this is such a noisy world, isn't it? That's my wife. <laughs> Just put her on, <laughs> you know, hold. <laughs> Gordon Hempton has devoted his life to preserving the places where silence reigns supreme. Our purest natural environments. As an audio ecologist, Gordon has circled the globe to capture recordings of Earth's most endangered soundscapes. Whatever I'd figure out, it would be through listening. In 2005, he ventured to one of his favorite places, the Ho Rainforest in Olympic National Park. He searched, he measured, he listened. And he marked the spot he calls one square inch of silence. 18 miles from the nearest highway, a couple hours down a muddy path, and through the trunk of a Sitka spruce. Something very profound and magic happens. Here it is, what may be the quietest spot in America, marked by a single rock placed on a fallen tree. No human-made sounds whatsoever. But the forest surrounding this one square inch of silence isn't silent at all. It is sonically the most diverse of any of our national park units, and there are over 400 of them. Removed from the roar of humanity, you can hear the planet's whispers. When the water flows by the stones, it's given a voice. Okay, here's the great part. Anyone is welcome to visit the one square inch of silence. The directions are easily found online. Just keep it down. <laughs> Hey everybody, my name is Eric. I'm a segment producer at Evening, and I just wanted to share with you one of my favorite places in Seattle, the West Point Lighthouse. This place has always been special to me and my family. The lighthouse was built in the 1880s and is now part of Discovery Park. It offers up great views of the sound and has a sandy, uncrowded beach that makes you feel at times like you have the whole place to yourself. 
Welcome back to Evening. We've had a great time sharing our staff picks with you. We love our team, and you can find a list of all of our picks on our website, king5evening.com. We leave you tonight with our last staff members. Yep, pick. our editor, Stacy, picked Game Farm Wilderness Park in Auburn. It's her favorite daily walk next to the White River. There's also a disc golf course and campground. Good night. Good night. Th thanks for being with us.